Ah, Guardian. Greetings. I need to speak with you. I thought you might. I know that you're wise enough to know when to ask for a little assistance. Fire team's full. We don't need more guns. <laughs> You'd be wrong to think I was offering our guns in the first place. You know why I came here. You're better informed on this subject matter than our team. You know how dangerous this is going to be. Wrong again. I don't know how dangerous this really is. I don't think anyone does. And that's what scares me. Anyone who thinks they know anything about this is gravely mistaken. So why am I here? Because of what she did to Osiris? Because you're not one of Ikora's hidden? And the Queen and the Empress aren't exactly sharing their intelligence? I'm the one you trust who's most likely to know about Savathun. So? Tell me about her. Tell me about the Witch Queen. I know the knowledge might be dangerous. Yes, but I don't know if you know how dangerous. Ignorance was Crow's shield until he knew the truth she revealed to him. Not to mention, what I tell you could be wrong. All the others out there who've also studied, they know just as well as I the stories we've heard. They could all be lies. That's the problem with fighting a god of deception. Ah, and there it is. God of deception. How exactly did she come to be? How far does her deception go? You saw the extent of it all. You saw Osiris, but... You also saw that something was wrong. Perhaps given more time or a little luck, you'd have seen through her web. All these years we've been chasing her. And we're not the first, Might. Not even the first Guardians. Do you really believe you can defeat Savathun? I don't believe I know if any of us is strong enough. We can't know for sure. But it doesn't matter. Our advantage has never been knowing. It's been doing. You speak no falsehoods. And you make no foolish assumptions. Perhaps there is yet hope. Very well. I shall tell you. You shall learn of her dynasty.
For millions of years, we have been growing in the deep. From across the stars, we have called life to fundament, so that it might contend against extinction. For millennia, we have awaited you, our beloved hosts. We want to help you, princes. We offer to each of you a bargain, a symbiosis. Take into your bodies our children, our newborn larvae. From them, you shall obtain eternal life. From them, you shall gain power over your own fragile flesh. The power to make of it as you will. We ask one thing in exchange, O oh, princes. You must obey your nature forever. And as your power grows, O oh princes, so will your worm's appetite. But we offer eternity, Aurosh. We offer you a chance at the universe. Would you deny your people infinity? Reach up to me. Let my flesh be your sacrament. At my end. I plot and plan, but I cannot gather enough bloodshed to, to feed my worm. And the harder I try, the hungrier it becomes. I slaughter and kill, but the harder I fight, the more my worm demands. I too am at my end. The Acumini War Angels have killed me so many times, and I dare not go out into the universe, lest I need my might to protect myself. My worm chews at my soul and hunger. We should retire, and gather our strength. We should beg the worm, our god, to tell us what to do. Have you learned nothing? Would you deny our purpose? Whatever we do, we will do by killing, by an act of war and might. That is the final arbiter we serve, that violent arbiter. And if we turn away from it, we deserve to be eaten. No, we must obey our natures. We must be long-sighted and cunning and strong. We must take this gift the worm our god has given us, this challenge, and find a way to keep existing. How will we feed our worms? I know. I know a way. But it won't work unless we are killing the Acumenian by the billions. How can we beat them? If we cannot beat their strengths, we must infect their weaknesses. But they are lords of matter, 
and physical law. I know a way, but it will require great power. More power than any one of us can claim. Then kill me. And use that killing logic. The power you prove by killing something as mighty as me. And strangle me. Use that killing logic. The cunning you prove by killing something as smart as me.
sister wizards. We need you. Close the wound, brother Grota. We will find a cunning way to destroy them, but only after they stop constructing problems on us. Father's going to eat our souls. Today I have a visitor. She reminds me of the king, yet subtler. Nothing announces her arrival. Her will does not flow through the system in open challenge against her enemies. She knows that though I am taken, I am beholden to no one. So, I ask her if she wishes to take up those strings. She does, and I take a new shape. My cage loses its purpose. I can tell this is not a part of her grand design. This is an introduction. She is at play. Through our new bond, I glimpse her intention. And I hope she remains at play. You wish to serve me? My life is spent. Servitude to those who cast me away. Our blood is all that remains of the old pact. Then let us make use of each other. What use would I be to a god? No gods. So it was always been. Teach me your necromancies. Usurper of the ordered way, so that together we may circumvent the anchored logic that drags us into the depths. Serve as foil to scatter the pieces of their grand game across the cosmos. As Zol did for my art, I offer a trade. Knowledge for knowledge. Grant me sight into the dreaming mind's talent, and I will teach what you ask. A rebellious bargain in the midst of dark tides. It is bound. Under my symbol, reborn and made in my image. Our bargain will set new beginnings in motion. An accord is struck. Speak my name. Savathun. Subjugate to none. Sword breaker and queen to the Taken Throne. To me, you are bonded. Go forth and enact my will. 